Welcome back to the channel. I bought this D130 to, to flip it. Um, it's got quite a few uh, things wrong with it. It's being held by a cable here. One in here, and, uh, this, the pivots here are broke off. The muffler. The deck needs to be welded up. The tires are going flat and they're all dry rotted, but the engine works good. Get the cable off here. So let this go overnight, and of course the rear tire went flat. So the front tire went flat, I put a tube in it. Uh, I made a video on that, I'll post the link below in the description. So this side here too, this one flat, cracked. This one here's got a slight little leak right here. And this one here, is, this was C solid here. I had to punch this out with a, with a punch. And uh, I'm rubbing the sandpaper on here. Try to clean the rust. This little rusty inside here, a little piece, piece of sandpaper here on the inside here. Uh, make sure this is not plugged. Yeah, that's good. Put the washer back on, clip in, and grease this up a little bit more. So I ended up putting a tube in it. So it's slightly worn right here, so I'm going to take this bushing out of here. I'm going to put a bearing in. This will tighten up the wheel a lot more than the bushings. I'm going to put this one in here for now, but I'll put, no, I'll put new ones in later. I'm just going to put some grease in the wheel a little bit. So I found these tires in my junkyard here. They're in perfect shape. And I'll put these on the tractor because these are garbage. They're all the tires are no good. These tires are really good. Rims look good too. Oh, yeah, came off. All right, there's a clip here. I'm going to remove the clip and the washer, so that's good. There's a, there's a key right here. I'm going to put a little bit of a nickel anti-seize on here. Spin the line up the key away. Clip. So I got a new plastic piece here that goes here for the hood. So I'm going to take this off here. So I'm going to take the muffle guard. It's all rusted and banged up. I'm going to fix that and sandblast that. I'm just going to put this here for now. These two tabs are broken. i got a video on this, how to repair this, but all I do is just drill. Drill in here. I'm going to take an 8.5 millimeter. Then I use a 10 mil tap. Pegs here are 10 millimeters in diameter and they stick out 10 millimeters. So this bolt here is exactly 10. So I'm screw this in here. Put a little Loctite on the threads here. Now I'm gonna measure 10 mil. Here to here. It'll mark. I'll take a zip cut wheel here. use a file here. All right, see if this goes in here. Oh, that makes it tight. Yeah. I'm just gonna clean the, the motor up here a little bit. Here. I'm gonna take this off and clean the inside too. You just don't know what you're going to find when you remove those covers. Thank <laughs> you. 
this, uh, I bought this at uh, a guy that lived near the ocean and left it outside. But I was looking on Facebook Marketplace and uh, I walked out and I found this more deck. It's looking all apart, man. It's in real good shape. Only paid 200 bucks for it. I'm going to send that. I already I put paint stripper to it. I put the wire brush to it. And I took that all off. I have to weld this up here. And a few spots here that was cracked around here. And welded this bracket up a little bit more. I finished grinding it there. On this side. I'm going to remove all that from the tractor, get rid of the paint. Been over an hour. I'm gonna just kind of uh, mask it off there so I can sandblast this too. Get the tractor all ready to go. Yeah, I'll finish sandblasting it. Metal prep it first there with 415 metal prep, and then I'll add the first coat. I degreased it and uh, prepped it and ready for paint. So just 415 paint, real good paint. Put some on here. So I gave it two coats. I'm just going to sand the top part here with the 400 grit sandpaper. I'm going to give it my first coat here. It's going to be pretty light because I don't want no runs. I'm going to do my final coat here. You have to put a lot on to make it glossy, but not too much so it doesn't run. So I'll let that cure for about a day before I put it back together. I'm just gonna put a little light coat everywhere. Same as my track. I got some high build primer here. I just wanna put some right here. So that's what you see, I want it nice and smooth. Put a little heavy coat and I'll block sand it. I'll just finish block sanding the whole tractor there. I put some glazing putty in the holes here so it makes it a little smoother when I paint it. So I'm going to clean that up and put another coat of primer on it and paint her up green. Get it all covered up and ready for paint and give her a light coat. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's the second coat. I'm not going to give it a third one. That looks really good. Putting the deck back together here. I got a video on this, how to put this deck back together. I'll put it in the description below.
Here's part number. Here's a part number for this sticker. this stud this goes in here and then this goes here this nut goes in the back it's a jam nut so when you start to screw it in then the whole thing will turn then I'm going to tighten that down and so go in here I'm going to go nice and easy because I don't want to strip that when that's nice and tight well this nut needs to be adjusted in against here the back side so I'm going to hold the stud with the socket right here, just a hex on this side. Then I'm gonna take a 10 mil wrench underneath there and just gonna tighten it up like that. Cause I don't wanna turn this and it'll, it'll, it'll strip this out right here. If I turn that, that turns. I'm gonna line up these holes first. I'm gonna put these bolts here and here. This one here, so it doesn't tighten no more. I'll tighten that nut. I'm gonna set up the sticker here, so I taped it up here. So I'm gonna take this off right here. It up on the other side, get the belt on here. Put my last clip here. So I put my blade measurement there, and it says two and a half. And the other side, I adjusted this two brackets back here to make it uh, a two and a half inch. And uh, I lowered the front end down a hair, about uh, three quarters of a turn. In the front nut back here to lower the front end down so the front end of the deck mows the grass so i clean the lenses uh i'll put a link to the video in the description below i'm gonna try to bring a little shine to the hood there she's pretty flat there right there i'm just gonna put a uh a little bit of rubbing compound bring it up to full and then put a, a little bit of pressure not much That looks pretty good right there, but I'm gonna put a little polish. Put on, start on low again. I'll put some ceramic wax on it. That looks really good. Another thing is, uh, what's not in the video is uh, a change of gas tank. Because the gas tank here was uh, cracked. I'll put a link uh, in the description below uh, how to change that gas tank. And I changed the oil. I'll put a link in that too in the description below how to change the oil. Um, how to set up the mower deck. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below too for that video. 
If you like this video, press thumbs up below, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.